Well, two pipelines carrying natural gas could soon be constructed in San Elisario and the surrounding area. Plans for the, <laughs> plans for the Comanche project and Roadrunner projects are already drafted. News Channel 9's Janice Yu joins us now with more. Janice? Well, these two projects start in Pecos County and come through San Elizario city limits or the surrounding area, and they connect to pipelines in Mexico. Now, this comes after changes in Mexican policy that allows the U.S. to invest in Mexico's energy industry. But people in San Elizario are raising some concerns over the two projects. It's scary. It's scary. Mirna Portillo lives on Los Pompas Road in San Elizario, right near the area where one of the two natural gas pipelines could be built. Something Portillo says she knew nothing about. It's unfair because, I mean, everybody needs to know what they're going to do because uh, bad things could happen if, if they don't put it right or. I mean, where, where are we going to go if something happens? San Elizario's mayor, Maya Sanchez, says she got no notice from the companies looking to build the pipelines. But county officials say the companies don't have to give notice. Um, as long as they acquire the land from private landowners, um, they, as long as they're complying with state and federal regulations, they, they can come in and build that. A company called Energy Transfer Partners is building the Comanche Project, a 42-inch pipeline from Pecos County to San Eli, then connecting into Mexico. It's expected to be in service starting April of next year. One Oak is building the Roadrunner Project, a 30-inch pipeline also from Pecos County to the San Elizario area, then also connecting into Mexico. Using land in Texas to service uh, customers in Mexico. But many residents in San Eli have expressed a series of concerns about the project, and that's why Mayor Sanchez says the city has adopted an ordinance against the pipelines. Making sure that security measures are in place. Um, are the maps final? Can we move? The entry point from the U.S. to Mexico to be further away from constituents should an incident occur. It needs to be determined if it's the company's fault or an outside influence. San Elizario has filed for an intervention, while the county has sent a letter to the Federal Energy Regulatory Committee. But officials say none of these efforts are likely to make much of a difference. Counties are really uh, uh, incapable of. Um, preventing these types of, of, of developments from occurring or really from, from having um, any meaningful input towards the project. State Representative Mary Gonzalez is holding a public meeting this Saturday at the Clint Community Center. A representative with One Oak, the company in charge of the Roadrunner project, will be there as well to answer questions. Now, we reached out to One Oak for a comment, but they were not able to get us a statement in time for this newscast. You can find more information about this meeting on our website. That's ElPasoProud.com. Reporting live from the newsroom, Janice Hugh, News Channel 9. Okay.